Today on the channel, the We Want Retros movement continues with the Mattel Creations exclusive retro Brett Hitman Hart, Jim the Anvil Knight Hart, Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, and of course, Nikolai Volkov. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Retros unboxing and review and today we've got Nikolai Volkov, we've got Jimmy Hart, we got the Hart Foundation Brett Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Knight Hart. Now these retro figures of course Mattel Creations exclusives but for all your other wrestling figure needs make sure you hit up ringside collectibles and use the discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. So this is our second bundle of retros since they went away and of course came back at Mattel Creations in a decent heavy hitter set right here. Uh, the Hart Foundation, of course, a strong tag team, strong uh, champions of the World Wrestling Federation back in the day. Of course, Jimmy Mouth of the South Hart, one of the great managers of the 80s into the 90s. And then you get Nikolai Volkov, which is a little bit of an oddball here, but not really when you think about it. We'll dive into this. And of course, we're going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do a little comparison action as well along the way. So without further ado, of course, since Retros came back, Mattel Creations, we get this special box for these. Much like the last one, we get a very similar box here. Of course, you guys know I bought two sets of these, one to open here and then one for my mid on card collection on these. I will say, though, as of filming right now, these are still available on Mattel Creations. Uh, a little bit of a surprise there. I didn't think they would sell out super, super fast, but I didn't think they would make it past the day, and here we are over a week later with these still available. Now, that means two things here. They made a lot more quantities here to have it on their site for a long time. That possibly could. Maybe they just made a bunch more, said, hey, we're going to have these as something we can sell on our site for a little while. Uh, maybe that was the case. Or... Very possibly, maybe the retro boom is really dying down. I think we're seeing that. We've talked about that in my weekly, weekly purchases videos. That when you got so many people making them, you got Rush, you got Chella, you got Mattel, of course, you got Zombie Sailor, uh, you've got uh, other ones out there, and then customizers on top of that. There's a lot of people making these retro figures, and we're getting so many other action figure lines, and then wrestling lines on top of that, the Power Towns entering in, and all that kind of stuff. Your dollar goes only so far, and of course during these inflation times, makes it even a little bit harder, so I gotta feel like the retro boom is there. There hasn't been as much fuss, oh, old fuss, and I even went back to my old playground uh, from when I was a little kid, and I asked the kids, I said, hey kids, any fuss about these retros? And uh, they escorted me off the property. I don't know what happened there, but uh, I never did get my answer, but we'll see what happens with these. I'm all in on these Mattel retros. Uh, these are the ones I really am collecting, min on card and loose, as I said. It makes sense for me to continue on with this line. I'm championing this line, and of course, this is the Mattel version. Uh, but we do, of course, got zombie sailors, cellas, and things like that doing good work as well. But let's look at the packaging on this one first. We got the uh, four horsemen of the Mattel Retros Wave 2 Mattel Creation set. How about we call them that? Uh, but we got them very cool glamour shots there on the side stacked up. I like this one too. It's like you can really choose your own box adventure how you want to display it. If you don't got as much room, put it sideways like this. That does look cool. And then in the back, look at that. There's the old ring. There's the guys, the cross cell, the old uh, non-colored back version there. It looks really good. Official retro four pack. Not a whole lot else there. So there it is. Off to the side. See you later. And we're going to break these guys down. Of course, they won't stand up. So I got to do one after another. But we're going to start with Brett Hitman Hart. Oh, Brett Hart. No stranger to the old Hasbro days. But we're getting an earlier incarnation, of course. So there's old Brett Hart there. Uh, I got the action. What's it say? He comes with authentic superstar moves. Ah, oh, the old heart attack. And very cool. Now, this is one of the more iconic poses from the Hasbro days, I would say. Uh, if you were a playability kid, this was always a good pose to have uh, to be able to play. But I got to say, the old school Bret Hart was a good playable figure as well. WWE classic logo, kind of, I guess we'll call it right there. Uh, but it just looks very plain. As a whole, the packaging here looks very plain. I don't know, it's missing just a little bit of that pizzazz. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but on the back, it shows how to do the function. Of course, we got the little blurb, love that, UPC's warnings. Got the cross sell for the other four as well. Let's see what it says about old Brett Hitman Hart here. Uh, Brett Hitman Hart. Gorilla Monsoon dubbed the master technician Brett Hart the excellence of execution. Well, that is true. He did do that. Uh, without further ado, though, let's get old Brett Hart off the packaging here. 
Uh, it makes me, it, it hurts a little bit to unbox these. I feel like, it almost feels like I'm going back and unboxing a Hasbro. Like, oh, what are you doing unboxing a Hasbro? But we know this is new. Uh, see you later. Goodbye. There it goes. And we got Bret Hart out of the package. Uh, first thing I notice here is I have no paint imperfections. I have no issues with mine that I see anywhere. I've seen a lot of fuss. So I'll, once again, we get back to the fuss. I've seen some fuss online with people getting bad paint uh, applications on there, things like that. I do not have that problem with Bret Hart, and this is the first time looking at this one. Uh, first thing I want to know is if the glass is removable. They are not in classic Hasbro fashion. I actually prefer them not being removable like this. Uh, so we do note that. Articulation, I guess we can run through that really quick. We do got that elbow there, which is really nice. You can do the heart attack finisher with the anvil, and he's set up for it as well. Uh, then you get the arm twist right there, which is nice touch. Head twist, arms up and down. Side to side, there's the old action, bam, there it is, bam, bam, all day long you can be firing those off, and then that's it for articulation. One thing to note, the Mattels seem to be the only ones sticking with the old school articulation of uh, a mechanism to them. We don't get that with Cella, we're not getting that with Zombie, we're not getting that with Rush. Uh, Mattel's the only one giving us true, truly true uh, retro style figures in uh, action moves. So that is something to note there. Uh, Bret Hart, I think we'd all know who this is if we had this head and we're thinking wrestling figures. You might think it's Howard Stern. This looks a lot like the old Toy Biz WCW Howard Stern Bret Hart. Uh, it does look a little similar to that, but I think most of us that are in the wrestling headspace would understand this as Bret Hart. Uh, we do have the heart here. I would say, I guess, there is a little bit of smudging. It's not bad. you got to look really, really close, but there's a little bit of imperfections there on that heart. Uh, so that is unfortunate, but you really got to look close. If you look at it from a distance, you don't see it as much, but you do have that. Don't have any pink splatter or anything like that. He does have Hitman on his butt. Of course, the pink tights, the black knee pads, the white wrist tape. Uh, it is Bret Hart all day long. It does look good. It's in an interesting one. I don't know if he would be on my punch card for a retro right now, just with all the guys we'd love to have, but it was probably an easy one for them to do. Of course, there is three different versions of this very Bret Hart in uh, the Hasbro lines over the day. A fabulous figure, like I said earlier. Absolutely love it. Uh, all day long, I'm taking this just for pure nostalgia and playing days, but this is a good one. If you don't have this one, you're new to retros, this Bret Hart will get the job done, I think. Definitely different. This Bret Hart's head sculpt was always weird. He always had such a big head or has such a big head. Uh, but very, very good Bret Hart. I think that's a, a winner of the batch. It could be the number one of the set here. But let's turn our attention to old Jim the Anvil Nightheart, another guy that got a Hasbro back in the day. Very similar packaging, of course, to Bret Hart. Very cool Jim Nightheart right there. What's it say? The Anvil Slam. And this is uh, the pose that the new retros really seem to go to a lot. We've seen this uh, posability articulation on a lot of their figures so far. And on the back, got the same cross cell. UPC's warning. He's got a little blurb for the anvil. Let's see what it says about old Jim. Nightheart won an anvil throwing competition, earning the nickname that defined his career. Well, you got to do what you got to do. All right, let's get old Nightheart out of here. Let's pull him off. Try not to be a rookie when we unbox. There it is. Bam, off to the races. And see you later. Goodbye. All right, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Coming in hot. <laughs> I like the head sculpt on this one. I can see people popping this head sculpt off, heating it up, taking it off, putting it on a Mattel Elite. As This is a fabulous Jim Neidhart head sculpt here. The big, wide-open mouth. Uh, it's interesting. Like, there's a black void inside his mouth and a little bit of a pink tongue. Once again, he does have sunglasses like Bret Hart had. Uh, but all day long, this looks like Jim the Anvil Neidhart. This looks really, really good. Feels good in hand as well. Like I said, it is an articulation we saw used a lot. The Ultimate Warrior. Saw it with the Iron Sheik. We saw it a few other times in the Mattel Retros. But it does work for Jim Neidhart. He can hold the guy up. Bret Hart can come with the clothesline. This really does work good for the Hart Foundation tag team. Once again, the pink and black attack running strong. He does have anvils down on his boots. An anvil on his butt. And it even spells out anvil for him. Uh, no real pain imperfections on this one either. A little bit of smudging here and there. Uh, but not absolutely terrible. I think I've seen worse or heard of worse at least. Uh, but it isn't 100% perfect. Uh, but very, very cool looking anvil. Of course, he will stand up next to old Brett. You can kind of see that comparison there. Very cool to get the Hart Foundation together. Uh, one of the best tag teams back in the day. I think a lot of us would agree at that. Of course, Brett went on to big solo success, but absolutely loved the Hart Foundation when I was a kid. 
And of course, we got Jim Neidhart's other figure from the Hasbro days. A, a little bit of a head scratcher. Of course, this was the Jim Neidhart we wanted way back in the Hasbro days. Unfortunately, we got the more high energy Owen Hart tag team uh, style. Uh, taxi cab Jim Neidhart is what I always thought of him as. But you know, with my imagination as a kid, it didn't really uh, cause me not to play with Jim Neidhart or anything. I just said, ah, oh, he's just in a different gear. It's not that big a deal to me. But obviously, I would have preferred this version of Jim Neidhart as a kid to go with the Hart Foundation. Uh, but an interesting one. All day long, uh, unlike this one where I'm going to choose the original, I'm going to choose this new Jim Neidhart over this one. Just better proportions. Uh, I actually like his pose better than this pose, which this is one of the best poses. Very similar to Bret Hart's, of course. But this one just seems to work a little bit better for Jim the Anvil Neidhart. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with old Jim uh, in the new one over the throwback one. That's the way I'm sitting on that one. Now we turn our attention over here to the manager of the Hart Foundation, manager of stars. You can use this with the Hart Foundation. You can put it with Honky Tonk Man and the upcoming Greg Hammer Valentine. A lot of uses for this Jimmy Hart figure. Uh, you can put him with a lot of different characters going back to the Hasbros or the modern retros. So that is very cool. Some people might need multiples of this Jimmy Hart. But there he is, very similar packaging as we've seen. You got the musical notes all over his coat. And then on the back, we got the same cross sell UPCs, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's see what it says about Jimmy Hart on the back of the package. The Mouth of the South taunted the opponents of the superstars he managed with his trademark megaphone. And as a little kid, I don't think I ever knew or understood what a megaphone was until Jimmy Hart brought it into my existence. Never even knew they existed. So whenever from that day on, I noticed a megaphone, oh, that's Jimmy Hart. Oh, Jimmy Hart megaphone. Look at that police officer. He's trying to be Jimmy Hart. That's how it's always been in my brain ever since. I'm sure a lot of kids of my generation probably in the same boat there. He does come with the old megaphone mash. Gotta love that finishing move uh quite the finishing move <laughs> but we'll pull him out see what's going on off to the races see you later goodbye we get jimmy hart and his megaphone is wrapped up with a, a little rubber band action very smart of mattel's part you don't want this falling out in travels things like that but it seems to be the exact same megaphone we've received in the past i believe if i can locate my jimmy hart figure over there to see uh, my eyes aren't fast enough to find it, but I have to assume that's reuse. That usually makes a lot of sense from Mattel. Once again, we get sunglasses molded into the head. I don't mind that on my retros. Three figures, three sunglasses. Oh, man, there you go. But uh, Jimmy Hart looks like Jimmy Hart all day long. A little high on the forehead for sure, but, man, he does look good. I like it. He's got his patented mustache going on there, his hair, the glasses. It's Jimmy Hart all day. Uh, then you get to his white coat with the musical notes all over. Of course, the keyboard tie. Jimmy Hart on the back. This really is more akin to the Honky Tonk Man, Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Rhythm and Blues style than the Hart Foundation. If it was Hart Foundation, you'd probably have hearts all over it. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments, is that a miss or is that okay? Uh, I don't mind having him with Honky and Greg. That's probably who I'd rather put him with than the Hart Foundation. But it being in a Hart Foundation kind of pack, you think they might have put the hearts on him to kind of go with these guys, especially with the throwback Hart Foundation. That seems to make a little bit more sense. But for me, it's okay for me. I, this works for me. It's all right. Of course, the action here, his arms just go up. A good body style here. It's, of course, very Mean Gene Okerlund style, like we got in the last set, if you guys remember that one. Uh, but I will say it does make him look just like a little person. He looks like a little person at the end of the day. The big, big jacket kind of takes away with the smaller legs. It's like the reverse Jack's manager. The Jack's manager's always got a hard time for being way too tall. <laughs> the Mattel Retro's managers and announcers, they get a hard time for being too small. So it's, it's a weird dynamic there. Uh, but definitely Jimmy Hart looks really, really good. Black pants down there. No real paint imperfections that I can see anywhere on him. He looks good. It's the Mouth of the South. It is Jimmy Hart. First time in the line. As you guys know, we didn't get managers in the Hasbro days, so that's something that's been sorely missed. Hopefully we get some more managers in the retros to go with our Hasbros and go with our current guys. Now we turn our attention to the last, but certainly not least, old Nikolai Volokov, a head scratcher in this pack. A lot of people saying, why is he here? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, to me, here's how I justify this. Maybe you're in the same boat as me. So Nikolai Volkov, of course, partners with the Iron Sheik, who came in the old retro sets. So we didn't have a Nikolai to go with that Iron Sheik. Well, this new Mattel Creations way to go to market with these is in packs of four. Well, what are you going to do with a guy like Nikolai Volkov? You got Sheik already. Who are you going to put him with exactly? So it makes sense. You get the three Heart Foundation. There's one spot left. 
Who else could you put in there? Well, it does make a little bit of sense to put Nikolai. Of course, Nikolai and Sheik, Nikolai and Boris Zukov, they had some uh, interactions with Jimmy Hart, the Hart Foundation, things like that over the year. So it is similar time frames, of course, and Nikolai matches up with the Iron Sheik, so it does work, and that's how I justify it here. And I think it's a good way to get us a Nikolai Volkov to go with our Iron Sheik, because Nikolai's not going to sell on his own. These guys are helping bring in Nikolai to the table. So you got to kind of remember that kind of stuff when you put on the old business hat. But there's old Nikolai. Look at all that photoshopping done on Nikolai. I think they took uh, the logo off his hat, the logos off his shirt. Uh, we can't have any of that CCCP business anymore. Uh, we got to have him just in red. So it does look a little weird. It looks a little plain Jane once again on the packaging here. Nikolai, cool. The. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the finishing move here is the Nikolai Kikolai. <laughs> I can barely get through this. The Nikolai Kikolai. I like that because it's funny, but I don't recall Nikolai with the old famous finisher, the old Kikolai, uh, back in the day. But that is pretty funny, I, I got to admit. The Nikolai Kikolai. Uh, actually, one of my least favorite retro gimmicks is the kick. We saw it with Sami Zayn, of course. Uh, I think Sheamus had that as well. Not very good. It doesn't work very good in the retros. I would be okay if they retired this mold going forward, but... I don't know. We'll see how the old Kikolai works out. Uh, we got the blurb, of course. UPC's warnings, cross sells, all that kind of fun stuff there. Oh, he's going to kick you in the shin. He's going to get all mad. Old Nikolai is going to just take on over. It'd be interesting if this hat is molded on or if it is removable. We'll find out on that as well. See you later. Goodbye. And oh, he's ready to do the Kikolai. Oh, the old Kikolai. What a move. Oh, uh, it is molded into the head, which I don't have a problem with because that just feels more Hasbro to me. Uh, so that hat is on there. I forget what that hat's technical term is called, uh, but it does look good. But that kick a lie gets really annoying because it goes off when you don't want it to. It's a tough one to stick there. But it's an interesting Nikolai Volkov. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be more good guy Nikolai as well. Uh, that picture on the packaging seemed more bad guy. But he's got a smiling face going on here. He's got some blue on the sides. Am I dreaming? Did the blue on the sides come when he was more of a good guy? Uh, I'm not up to my Nikolai knowledge maybe as well as I should be. But uh, a very, very plain Jane Nikolai Volkov figure. He does got the red in the trunks, red in the uh, knee pads, but then a different red on the boots, the white laces. Uh, he's just here to party in his hat and his trunks. Uh, he show up to a party. Hey, old Nikolai's here. Don't let him do the old kick a lie. That's what they would say. But there's old Nikolai, and he's tough to get standing. There we go. I got him. And, of course, we got the Iron Sheik, which I mentioned earlier. Now we can complete this tag team here to have these guys. And they can square off against the Heart Foundation if you need them to. So this does make sense at the end of the day for me. It all does work together. It looks good, and it's an interesting one. Is this the greatest retro set of all time? I'm not going to go that far. Is it good? Is it worth the money? Yes, I do think it is. Obviously, if you're collecting the retros, you're collecting this stuff, this makes a lot of sense. And, of course, I'm supporting this because I want this line to continue. It's a nostalgic touch back to my past and a lot of your guys' past as well. Obviously, we have the cellos, the zombies. Those things work as well. But this feels more of a direct line from the Hasbro's maybe than the zombie stuff does or the cello stuff does. Just because uh, WWE had the license with Hasbro, WWE has the license with Mattel. These have action features. The other ones don't. So this feels more like a straight line. I'm not saying it's as good a quality as Zombie or Chella in some instances. And definitely the character selection. Some of those guys we're getting from Zombie are absolutely next level that I've been wanting for years. Uh, and I don't know if Mattel has that option to get us some of those deep, deep cut guys. But that being said, I think this works for what it is. It is worth a pickup if you're into retros. And it still is available on MattelCreations.com as of filming this video right now if you are interested. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? All in, all out, can't make your mind up? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this pack of retros. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. Yes, we do. You can also follow along on Patreon. It is the best way to support the channel. With that, you do get bonus content, exclusive content, early access to videos, and of course, be a part of the monthly giveaways. And like I said, best of all, you get to support the channel. Also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to follow along and uh, hang out over there on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. So for a little Mattel Retros 4-pack, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.